Hello, my name is Dr. Dorian Roberts, and I'm here to introduce you to one inexpensive free way of flipping your classroom using Edmodo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go inside Edmodo. I like to use Symbolo for my bookmarks. It makes it easier for me when I'm in the classroom. There we go. Have a little bit of some technical difficulty. We log on in. Now, I'm going to go back to the login process. The great thing about Edmodo, let me log out over here. The great um, thing that I like about Edmodo is it's not a buy in that you're district needs to do. You can do it right in your classroom. Your kids don't need to have um, email accounts or anything like that. And that's what I love about it. So let's get started. We'll click on doing a free account and you will hit teacher. I am the teacher. You can set up your classroom within a good two, three minutes. You put in the code, you sign up for free. Or you can use uh, Office 365 to sign up. When you um, log on, um, you can create a class. So what that means is the students would go back to the same screen that you are on. And they would click, I'm sorry. They would click, I am, I'm a student. When they click on that, all you have to do is enter their first name, last name, and the group code. At Moto, we, um, at Moto, with every cluster you have or every class you have, they provide, provide you with a group code. So what you can do is use the group code. Create their username. I usually have first name, last name, and a number. Um, and then their password is a number. Don't worry if they forget it. You're, you have the opportunity or you have the power to change their password so they can get in. So I'm going to show you around a couple of tools to add Moto. So here I am, and I have a couple of classes. This is my fifth grade class. Um, and just so you can get somewhat of a shot, you have my posts, folders, and members. And then you have group settings. And see up here where it says group code? Sometimes you have students that enter in after you know, a couple of weeks of school, you can reset the group code or you can unlock the group. Now, if you go over here, I'm going to be focusing this evening on notes, assignment, quiz, poll, and snapshot. Let me go ahead and start with note first. Um, you can leave, you can post a note, you can do a little bit of everything on here. Um, a greeting for when your students open up Edmodo for the first time. Now here with assignments, you title the assignment, um, let's say a journal entry. Now, you can load the assignment in if you already have done it, or you can load it from your library. Or you can go and share a link that you would like them to look at, or you can attach a file. You put a this description. Um, See, please enter a 
journal entry for this week. Okay, you can have a due date. Let's say we'll have this due on Friday. And then you can have it where you can send it now or you can send it later. So I'll have them, I'll send it at around 9.30 tomorrow. So it's right there. So what happens is if you look up here, it says one schedule. When you click on it, it'll tell you which one it is, when it's due, and you'll see the turn in amount right here and the date that it's supposed to be sent out. I love Edmodo. Then you have quiz, quizzes. You can create your own quiz or you can long, load from a collection of quizzes. So I like to create my own quizzes because it goes with the reading series for my students. All you have to do, it can be true, false, short answer, fill in the blank, and or matching. Now, give it a title. Let's say vocabulary test. You can give it a time. Um, I would definitely give 90 minutes if you don't have one-on-one -on -one devices. But you can give them, um, my students happen to have one-to-one -one devices. So you can give them about 15 minutes. And then it says add first question or load first question. So you can add your first question. And if you look over here, write the writing prompt what the four-legged animal in the story was a cat. So I can go right here. I can hit true or false. And I love it because it spell checks a lot of stuff for you. Boom. You go right here, hit true or false. The correct answer will say it's false. You're done with that question. You go right up to the other. Now, let's say you want not question number two to be a multiple choice question. You go right here. She in the story, Claire went to the... Store, school. Oh, I need more options. Hit add response or the mall. Well, it's not store, it's not school, so I hit right here for the correct answer. And I said it as that. Now, I don't know how inquisitive some of your students are when they lean over and might want to peek at somebody else's computer. You can always randomize the questions right over here. Let's say you have a student absent or let's say you have technical difficulties. That's okay. You can go right over here to print quiz and we'll, it'll print the whole quiz out for you. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so there you go for your quiz. Sometimes we like to take a poll, see what our students like to do or how they feel about a particular assignment, having a vote. So you can take a poll for your students.
Child, we can hit yes or no. Make sure you always put which class you want to answer the poll. You can send now or send later. Now, a lot of people like, a lot of teachers like Snapshot. Snapshot is pretty good. Um, I use it to do a quick um, formal, I mean formative assessment. So let's say um, reading. I'm going to put it to all my groups. Now I'm going to put it just in my fifth grade group. I'm going to hit ELA, and I'm going to hit the grade. The grade would be fifth. And then I'm going to go searching. Let's say I'm going to browse through all standards. And here I have reading, of course, the common core standard. Uh, reading literature, reading informational text, reading foundational skills, writing, and language arts. So I'm right here. And I pick maybe the one that has current, um, they have questions to these. So let's pick, I would like to do determining the theme. Nope. Compare and contrast two or more characters. So I would do that, hit done, 